that defensive effort tonight, uh, how to be able to start the game with that run, take control and lead wire to wire and answer each time UConn tried to start a run. What does that say about the defensive effort for you all tonight? That says we have a stingy defense. I mean, everybody takes pride in their defense and you definitely you've seen that on display tonight. To think about where this program has come since you, you transferred to look at, you know, the lows from when you started to where you are now, just what does it mean to look back and think of what you guys have Man, it's, it's crazy. Um, I can't even describe to you the adversity that myself, my teammates, and my coaches went through. And just like looking back, like reflecting, it's amazing how resilient we are. Uh, we never gave up. We kept faith and, you know, we kept working our tails off and, you know, we trust each other and, you know, we would do anything for each other. And, I mean, you definitely see that. You've seen how that came, like, about and how we're just sticking to that. And, you know, it's been a crazy three, four years here. And, like, just seeing that is definitely momentum. Hey, Ari, congratulations. Um, I just wanted to ask, in your last press conference, you said – that you had your chance with your teammates, that you were ride or die for them. So I just wanted to know, you know, what did you know that everybody else didn't know back then, you know, that everybody who might have counted you guys out wasn't thinking about? Uh, my teammates are dogs. I mean, it started with me, and I think that effect rubbed off on my teammates uh, this last stretch of playing basketball. And um, I'm just proud of them. I mean, we had that mentality. Uh, we wasn't scared. And, I mean, it showed tonight. And I'm just extremely proud of them. And I'm, I'm very appreciative of my teammates and my coaches. And we just beat a great team. I mean, UConn, I mean, that's a powerhouse. And, I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. Uh, you've talked all week and coaches talked all week about not having the pressure on you and going out and playing loose and playing free. That looked evident tonight. And maybe UConn with the pressure was a little tight. Did you think that was the case? Uh, definitely. Um, we were the underdog, and I mean, we kind of felt that way all season. And I mean, that kind of boosts our confidence and makes us play harder that nobody thinks, you know, we can beat, you know, these top teams or even just accomplish the things we've accomplished. So, I mean, they were tight. I mean, my teammates have been playing free this whole tournament. I mean, hey, <laughs> we're made for it, like Coach says. Ari, in the second quarter, you hit a big shot and you did kind of a, a shoulder shrug, and then you crossed your arms. What was going through your mind in that moment? I was just thinking in my head, like, I'm a, I'm the dog. I mean, I'm the stuff. So, I mean, I was just thinking that, like, man, nobody can't stop me. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Some of your players had talked about the disrespect of not being in the video uh, earlier this week. I wonder if you guys drew from that at all and what had been said. No, we didn't draw from that. But I think that was just another um, – that was a small thing. That was just another thing that we dealt with. I think it started early. First of all, and, and I get why we hadn't been here. This is uncharted territory, so I get the whole thing. Um, but initially, you know, we weren't mentioned when they were talking about our region. That was the first thing. So those things are motivating. The second thing, um, you know, in the elite, or when we were going to play Texas A&M, we were barely in the highlight video, so it was already them. Everybody thought Texas A&M. And then you fast forward, the next thing was the highlight video. We weren't in it. There was three teams. So those are just things that motivate a team. It means nothing. Um, we don't care. <laughs> We believe in each other. We believe in what we do, and that's just motivating. That's something I, I'm like, okay, show them. Be on the next video. Um, so it doesn't matter. It just motivates us, and I love it. Um, I love it. I've been an underdog all my life. I've been too small to do this, too, th too this, to do that. I'm too inexperienced to do this, and we prove it wrong every time. So I don't care. Um, it just motivates me and my team. Adia, have you had a chance to let it soak in? You you mentioned uh, you know being able to you know be here now. You're you you and your team. You've coached your team to uh, appearance in the national title and a chance to play for a championship Sunday night. Yeah, um, no, it's not. It hasn't settled in yet. Um, I'm. It's amazing. Um, you know, this was a really hard game. We did not have any pressure. It's a it's a much easier situation to be us than it is UConn um, because I think the the program is so good you're expected to win and that's hard. I mean we had a little bit of experience with that this year being like a top 10 team or being a top 12 team, it's a little bit harder than it is to be an unranked team just chasing and trying to get wins. So, um, you know, for, for UConn, there's, there was more pressure. For us, it's a lot easier to play loose when there isn't pressure. 
But I'm just happy we got hot at the right time during the tournament. And, you know, if you look back at two or three weeks ago, we weren't playing our best basketball. So we started to change some things and got better, um, just became more united right before the tournament and just found ways. And I'm just so proud. Everybody has stepped up in different ways. Everybody from Sam, Kate, Lauren, Helena, Shayna, Ari, um, you know, Bendu, um, Trinity, everybody has done a little bit more. And that's all I can ask for. They're playing their hearts out. Um, they believe. I believe. We don't care if anybody believes. And I did not cuss about the NCAA. I did say a cuss word. And the cuss word is basically like, you know, forget everybody. Um, it was a little bit more of a chosen word, but forget everybody if they don't believe in us because we believe in us. And that is my team. And I believe in them and I will run through a wall for them. And um, I'm just so proud because they do whatever I ask. They believe. And that's all I can ask for with the team. They play hard for me. And so I give it my all. And that's all I was going to do at the end of the day. Whether we won or lost, if we play the hardest and we do everything we can control, then I was going to be happy with the result and I could walk away with my head up. So I'm just so proud of this team. We knew um, all of UConn was going to be learning how to scout against Aerie, learning how to stop her, building a wall. So we knew that other people had to step up. So I think that was the main thing we did. And of course, Aerie went off and did her thing, but we were also there to help her out. Are you facing Stanford now, that last mountain you have to climb, does it seem fitting that it has to be Stanford after the, the, being the only team to beat you twice this season? Yeah, I think it works out perfectly. I mean, we know each other so well, so we know all their tendencies, all their players. So we can take some time and have a short practice because we already know the scouts so just get some shots up and do what we have to do. <laughs> Free throws, y'all. <yeah. laughs> you know, um, just talk about how you guys – mentally and physically took them out of the game from the beginning. Yeah, that was the main thing we wanted to do was to get them off their game. I mean, they average like 70 points, so we just wanted to keep them below that. And they're also um, young. A lot of them are freshmen or younger class, so we just wanted to try and throw them off their game as much as possible. Sam, it, it seemed like you guys were just having fun out there and there really wasn't that much pressure. Was, is that, was that the case? I mean, did you really just not feel many nerves and you're just having fun playing UConn? Yeah, we were just having fun. I mean, we came out, and I think we had like two or three threes right away, and it's always funny when you hit three. We had the whole audience um, supporting us. We also had some Stanford fans trying to back the pack and supporting us. So it was really nice. We were having so much fun. There was no pressure on us.